Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and Discussion for October 10th, 2022, around 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Not much to talk about today, but a look at one area of tropical disturbance that could form in the Gulf of Mexico over the next couple of days and what to expect for the remainder of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season. Taking a look across the tropical Atlantic this afternoon, we noticed that there's really only one system worth monitoring over the next several days. This is actually the remnants here of Tropical Storm Julia, or once was Hurricane Julia, uh, now has weakened and crossed over to the East Pacific Basin. But some regeneration of this system, potentially in the Gulf of Mexico side, is possible, but only 20% odds as of this moment. Taking a look here at the tropical weather outlook from this afternoon, we noticed that there really only is that one system that we were just talking about. This is located right now near Belize and will be crossing into the Gulf of Mexico over the next day or two where some subsequent development is possible, but only 20% odds as of the 2 p.m. advisory from the Hurricane Center. So not really looking for significant probabilities of development, but certainly something to monitor as it is still, of course, the hurricane season at this moment. Looking at the GFS forecast, this is the 12Z run valve for 2 p.m. this afternoon. We're looking at the 150 millibar vorticity or the spin in the atmosphere of 5,000 feet off the ground. We notice that even on the GFS forecast, there's nothing really that develops down here. Maybe a brief system that tries to spin up here within the next about 48 hours or so. Uh, but we notice that a big cold front is going to be sweeping down across most of the United States at this point. And so this is going to increase a lot of shear across the Gulf of Mexico and likely nothing ends up developing. We don't really see much development, maybe some subtropical development there within about five days or so, but nothing really going on out there. Now, if we look at the European ensembles and if we look at the upper level environment for this time as well, again, the upper level environment in the Southern Gulf is actually pretty good for development down there in the Bay of Campeche, but we notice that quickly uh, translates then after some time to a very unfavorable environment and we don't really see a re-emergence of any environment that is conducive for tropical cyclone activity all the way out through the 25th of October where most of this point the global tropics including the main development region of the Atlantic just sheared to bits down here and this is kind of what we would expect so it seems like that potentially we are moving into a time of less activity and that would certainly be some good news but of course, hurricane season runs until November 30th, so it is important to keep checking back on this forecast as, again, long-range forecasts can and will certainly change. So as some footage of our Hurricane Ian Chase plays in the background, we're going to kind of discuss a little bit of the plans for the final video and potential charity stream. So one of the things that's kind of been brought up over the past couple of days is that this is going to be... Uh, certainly something that is possible, obviously, to raise, you know, fundraising money for the victims, not only in Florida, but obviously the Carolinas and Cuba. Uh, one of the things that we're kind of thinking about doing is potentially just including this at the end of uh, video here of Hurricane Ian, meaning after we compile all of the damage footage, because we still have to go back and get the damage footage from Ian, especially in Arcadia, which is still underwater in some areas. So we're kind of waiting until that resides so we can actually go back, get proper damage uh, footage and then kind of compile that into our video, um, which then should be released within about a month or so. So we're thinking about the potential charity stream actually, or the kind of the charity event being that video and uh, any donations, there will be uh, some, you know, uh, Red Cross links and whatnot. Um, and that way, of course, everybody knows where the money is going and whatnot. So there's no problem with, you know, having to, you know, kind of transfer everything around. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. And uh, then there will probably be some type of follow-up stream just to go over some of the data that we got and whatnot, which will be included in the final video. But, um, you know, there will kind of be two parts to that. So let me know what you guys think about that. Do you guys really want uh, kind of a charity stream or charity event um, and whatnot? It, it's going to be done either way. It just it depends what kind of form and fashion. So let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section down below. Of course, uh, you can also email my business uh, email, which is in the about me section. So you can email my business email and uh, just kind of let me know as well if you don't feel like uh, making any you know public comments about it or whatever. All right. So that being said, I do hope you have a great rest of your afternoon and evening. Of course, I am Michael Romali, and I'll be talking to you guys again some more tomorrow.